you know, and, and part of the difficulty is you have so much of the economy now that's covert or secret. Try if you're Jay Powell and you've got two trillion dollars of float in dollar bills around the planet that are being used for all sorts of stuff, including covert thing. The idea of moving all those players onto a blockchain where you have total control and transparency, you know, I think, you know, there's going to be a lot of pushback. And I don't just mean pushback from citizens, I mean pushback from, from all sorts of characters. So the, the digital systems they're talking about going to are not currencies. That's what you need to understand. Crypto is not a currency, it's a credit on the company store. So the IMF just had a panel with, on cross-border payments with Jay Powell, Carstens from the Bank of International Settlements and the head of the IMF. And Carson said this very clearly, it was really, he really let the cat out of the bag. He said, um, he, he, ex he was talking with Powell and he explained that if a central banker wanted to, they could stop a non-citizen from transacting in the system. Now, what that means is they can stop anybody from transacting in the system. So in essence, in, a, in an all digital, no cash system run by the central banks, you've got a credit on the company store and your individual money can be turned on and off or changed in value. They have complete control. It's not a currency as I would define it. It's a credit on the company store and your money can be turned on and off according to a social credit system or a political system or, you know, you name it. Oh, if you misbehave, you're, um, they can starve you to death. Right. And I would describe it as an end of all human sovereignty. It's not a currency system. It's a control system. And it's a complete control system. Now, the, the, if you read State of Our Currencies, I describe it's going to take probably two to five years to get to where they want to go. And it could even take longer. Um, you know, and, and part of the difficulty is you have so much of the economy now that's covert or secret. Try If you're Jay Powell and you've got two trillion dollars of float, in dollar bills around the planet that are being used for all sorts of stuff, including covert thing. The idea of moving all those players onto a blockchain where you have total control and transparency, you know, I think, you know, there's going to be a lot of pushback. And I don't just mean pushback from citizens, I mean pushback from, from all sorts of characters. So what they're trying to do is very, very difficult. And, um, and I don't, but uh, to me, one of the problems is you're talking about the central bankers literally going into the invention room to figure out how the new system's going to work. And part of the crisis is to give them the powers they need to accelerate it. So if I listen to Powell and Karstens and, and the IMF, they, you know, they stay away from mentioning the pharma guys or mentioning the tech guys, et cetera. But if you look down the road, all these pillars are going to come together. And that's why it's essential that we start talking about this on an integrated system because we're talking about two different concepts. One is a human civilization where an individual is a sovereign and I would say has freedom coming to them by divine authority. And another system where it's a technocracy, it's transhumanism. Humans are a natural resource to be optimized within the central banking system. It's a completely revolutionary vision that they have you know, and, and I live, uh, when I'm in the United States, I live in a farming community and, you know, it's, I know a lot because of that about livestock management. And frankly, it's a livestock management system. It's very, you know, the, the vision they have and where this is going is very, very dark. And the hardest thing for any sensible person listening to you and me talking or observing all these different pillars as they come together in a transhumanist vision is, why would millions of people work so hard to build a system which is going to destroy the freedom for their children and grandchildren? Makes no sense.